Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought's Shipyard Champions. So, today is another PvP kind of challenge. And uh, this is a ship I made. Let me just uh, read you the challenge first, and we're going to take a look at it. We're not going to be using it today. Uh, someone is. We Let's see. Week 12 of Shipyard Champions Season 4. It's been a minute since we've done a player versus player challenge, so let's remedy that. And this is by Bro Silly, by the way. Admiral Faceoff. The challenge. You will design one ship, and then put it in the share design ships, as we have done, along with your chosen range, weather, time of day, and number of your ships to use in battle, as well as the tech year of your ships. However, there are some restrictions, such as only being able to have a certain amount of total tonnage of your ships in a battle. Then, once all admirals have submitted their ships and battle specifications, I will use a randomizer to assign everyone their respective battle from another admiral. So that has been done. Uh, you cannot look at the enemy ship. The fleet you use to face the battle can be the same as your submitted one, but regardless it must follow the same restrictions below. I will not be using my ship because uh, the sh ships I'm facing, uh, they're from a, an entirely different year. Restrictions. You can only have a total ship tonnage of up to 100,000 tons. You can only have a total of 50 torpedo tubes, not launchers, in your fleet. So 10 quintuple launchers, that would be 50 tubes. You cannot use picric acid in your fleet, so that is the um, uh, the incendiary uh, shell bursting charge. All generations of radar rangefinder are not allowed, and I assume that goes for any year, so even if I were to make a 1950 ship, I would not be allowed to use radar. You can only have up to 20 ships in your fleet for the sake of all of our computers, so uh, maximum tonnage of up to 100,000 tons, that does not mean uh, th that I can send, ask someone to fight 200 torpedo boats weighing 500 tons each, uh, because that would just kill their PC. <laughs> uh, let's see, this is how the challenge should be sent. Yeah, we specify the date and weather and so forth. Scoring, one point for every 10% of the total ship tonnage that you sink or damage. So for example, if uh, I were to fight a 100,000 ton battleship, taking 50% structural damage would be 5 points. Or if you sink 5 out of 10 light cruisers, being 10,000 tons each, that would also be 5 points. Minus 1 point for every 10% uh, of total ship tonnage you lose. So, uh, the ship I made, uh, Ulairi will be fighting it. I will be fighting uh, ships made by Lost Galaxy Gamer, the Island Pacification Fleet Mark II. So let's first uh, take a look at the ship I made. It's built on the new Austro-Hungarian Advanced Small Battleship, which has very good resistance. It's not very fast, but it's got very good resistance. And it is small. I set the displacement to uh, lots of threes. So that um, Ulairi, who will be facing this, will be facing three of these. That would be weighing in at just under 100,000 tons. As you can see, I kind of went for a uh, maximum toughness kind of uh, build. Maximum bulkheads. Triple bottom. Anti-torp. 4, Citadel 4, no radar, decent armor, it has, I think they are Mark 3s, yeah, Mark 3, 15 inch, main guns, so that's going to be interesting, it's got pretty good tower spotting right out of the gate, and not being that huge, I think it should uh, possibly be able to outspot its opponent. But you will have to uh, check out Ulayuri's video to see this thing in action. Now, let's see what we're gonna fight. 
Uh, let's see. Custom battle. My enemy, he has made a uh, Chinese ship. And it is from, oh, let's see, share design ships, 1916. Uh, it's day, it is stormy, range is 15 kilometers. Fifteen kilometers. Nineteen sixteen. And I will be fighting three battleships. So he made his way pretty much what mine way. I think I'm gonna try building uh, three battleships of my own. We're gonna do British. Well, I am just about to start an Italian campaign, so let's do Italy. Share designs always. Weather was stormy, right? Stormy and day. Mm, okay, let's design a ship and uh, fight whatever this is. Cruiser? No. Oh, this is probably from a uh, previous challenge. Yeah, this is from a previous challenge. So let's just clear that. And uh, what's this? It's not relevant. I'm playing on vanilla now, by the way. So this one can weigh... Is this one of the new ships included in the latest patch? Both... Uh, this has more resistance. It does not have the same stability. Or floatability. If I put this at 25,000 tons, it's a pretty small ship, but I will be able to build four of them. Let's do that. Let's build four battleships at 25,000 tons. Uh, range, it is a custom battle, so range is not that important. As long as I have more than... I think I figured out 6,000 kilometers being safe. And we get one of those towers. And a simple rare tower. And a funnel. Now I think... 25 knots? Yeah, that's within um, the engine efficiency uh, limit. What kind of guns do we have in 1916 in vanilla? Mark 3 13s, Mark 2 14s. We're gonna do 13s. Can I fit one more turret back here? Yeah, I can. And I can adjust the weight later on. Let's see, oil one geared turbines. Let's put on some auxiliary stuff and let's just build the rest of the ship. Crop four, that's gonna save some weight. Some amount of anti torp. Not sure if I'm gonna do anything with the uh, with the secondaries yet. Tube powder one, TNT two, flash fire is now down to two point one percent. 
Uh, Rangefinder Coincidence 3. That's the radio. Uh, it gives me some aiming speed. It weighs almost... It's quite heavy. Do I drop the radio? Oh, let's see what we, uh, what kind of displacement we end up at. Let's see the guns. 25 kilometer range. We're starting at 15. Let's do something about the detectability. I have enough range so I can actually drop the draft down a bit. Minus six that drops the detectability. Oh, that makes my ship grow. We're starting at fifteen kilometers. Not very far. Let's put some armor on the guns. 15 kilometers. I'm not going to need that much deck armor, I think. 4.5 inches of penetration. Let's see where are we at. 100. And, yeah, it's been set. We're at 142% armor quality with Krupp 4. So let's just adjust for that. Four point seven inches of um, deck penetration is what I'm getting. Five should be safe. kind of um, belt penetration are we looking at? 14 inches. Of course, I don't know what kind of... Um, what kind of guns the enemy has. 13 Mark III was the high, biggest Mark III I could fit. Go 15 on the main belt. That should keep us safe. One point five on the four and a half decks. Three superstructure. I cannot fit eight inch casemates. I can fit 7 inch. Seven inch is fine. That's a lot of armor on uh, on those casemates. Can I put uh, 11.2? Is the maximum. What can we do? If I move things around a bit, can I fit another turret? I can. Gives me a bit of a four weight offset. find ways around that. Let's just put you there. What is my uh, detectability? It's not too terrible. What about another uh, secondary gun I can fit? Some 8 inch guns. Let's 
Yeah. Not really. These tiny 4-inch guns. They're very tiny. They're gonna get blown off very easily. How about... Can I fit it here? Oh, like almost? Maybe 5 inch? Just trying to get a... Uh, uh, let's drop that and just... Add on some more armor. Uh, let's add on some more crew as well. Can I go triple bottom? Yes, I can. Anti -torp I can go barbette four for less flash fire chance. Mm, yeah, factory acid not available. How about making those 7-inch guns a little bit longer? We now have a range of 13.4 kilometers. These are 49 caliber. Let's just round that up to 50. can add some more conning tower armor. Some more armor on the turrets. And let's put the rest into belt armor. 15.5. We are just under 25,000 tons. Which is the limit if I want to bring four of these, which I do. And we're going to be fighting three enemy battleships. Unknown quality. Unknown uh, specification. Let's go. And it's not building the enemy battleships, so that means it is bringing in the shared designs. Spotting the enemy right off from the start. Here's the enemy battleship. That's a lot of secondary guns. And because we're playing on 1.5, can turn that off. Hallelujah. They're armed with Two double 14 inch guns. Which I'm guessing must be Mark II's. Unless China has Mark III 14s in 1916. They got two double 12 inch guns. What kind of weapon ranges do they have? They have torpedoes. Seven kilometer torpedoes. Twelve inch guns have a range of twenty kilometers. It's the range of the fourteen inch guns. Nineteen point eight, so less range than the twelve inch guns, which means they are probably Mark twos. We're being spotted. Right off the gate. All my ships are focusing on the first ship. A little bit 
bit hard to see. The fog. Range to the enemy is 14 kilometers. So far, I've done some damage. They have not. Oh, there we go. We can pen them. That's engine damage. And I want you to stick to AP. At 14 kilometers. Should be able to pen them. they have a heck of a lot of um, armor, which is possible. They are heavier than mine. That's why there are three of them and not four. Cruising speed, possibly. So I got two of my ships focusing on the lead enemy battleship. Try and get a little bit closer. Because we're just not getting enough hits. <laughs> Torpedo detonation. There we go. Enemy battleship. It's been identified. You have 10 inches of main belt, 9, 4 and a half, 9 main deck. You have a lot of deck ar uh, armor. Torpedoes are 19 inch. So not super dangerous. Stereoscopic 3. Maximum bulkheads. Did I give mine maximum or did I forget? No, it's maximum. 22 knot top speed. Light shells, increased ammunition, they are marked too. So I should be safe at 15,000 meters. They're 12 inch guns. They need to get within 5,000 meters to pin me with the 12 inch guns. Meanwhile, I can pen their armor all the way out to more than 20 kilometers. The problem is hitting them at that range. Let's see. low, low on fuel, but uh, less than 30%. Chief Infante is taking most of the uh, most of the fire from the enemy uh, enemy ships. My 7-inch guns have joined in. Something to 
took a loud hit. Let's just make sure everyone is uh, firing at their assigned targets. We're 13 kilometers out. Means my 7 inch guns have range when firing AP, not with AP. Uh, not with HE. I can load HE on the. Um, main guns because there are two and uh, four inch turrets do not have that much armor nice not having to worry about my formation being messed up because the game now allows me to just turn that behavior off let's just go to auto Fourteen-inch turrets have twenty inches of side armor. Twelve-inch turrets have seventeen point four inches. So we're not going through the turrets unless we get very close. Even the eight-inch turrets have a lot of armor. Pock, starting to take a lot of damage. As is the Trifonfante. Yeah, Hawk is probably going to be the first to sink. I want two ships focusing the puck. Because I want it gone. Venezia Triomfante is being focused by, I think, the entire enemy fleet. Puck is going down. One ship gone. Makes things easier. Now I can focus two of mine on each of theirs. Fanto took a hit. 12 inch. So far, the 12 inch guns seem to be the most effective out of the enemy uh, guns. at 13.9 kilometers. Let's get a little bit closer and then switch to AP. Yeah, they're both at almost 50 damage instability. As is the Venezia Triomfante, but San Zaccaria and Regina Elena almost undamaged. So they do not suffer from reduced accuracy. 
I can switch to uh, switch to AP. Get some flooding going. Getting a uh, good broadside angles. Let's see how triumphante. I want you to uh, detach. I want the uh, rest of the formations to just pass you. that ship. She hasn't taken that much uh, damage in hit points, it's mostly flooding. Closing in towards me. Kind of are. There we go. Yeah, you can just uh, fire at that one back there. My armor is blocking quite a bit. Maria also is taking quite a bit of damage, but she's okay. What hit you? 14 inch. Main belt pen. 1545 damage. It's almost, uh, almost all the damage done by the enemy 14 inch gunners in that one single head. Go back to auto. Netzia, how are you hanging up? You're just sitting here, firing, chilling. Choose your own ammo. are now on low fuel. Why is that? Oil gear turbines. Well, it looks like a pretty big funnel. It shouldn't be the funnel capacity. It's the minus 15 draft and the plus 10 percent beam. So they're now limited to, yeah, 8 knots, 7 point something on the other one. So you 
I'm gonna go closer uh, by reversing. And that's yeah. So you got more turrets super firing aft than four. So it's better to just reverse towards the enemy. I want to fire AP because you got a pretty good angle. Only 12 kilometers out. Turns out my my whole thing of uh, looking at the uh, detectability range ended up just not uh, not mattering. Because even in the storm. If it's daytime, you're gonna spot a battleship at this range. There we go. More flooding on An Liang. At least I know the enemy is not going to get away. 10 kilometers away now from uh, Venezia Triomfante. I don't want to let you get too close to her. She's already uh, not in a very good shape. Torpedo left, you got no torpedoes left. Our towers are busted. Only Ang surrendered. Due to casualties. And uh Changxi is at almost thirty-four percent losses. I think we are. She only has one torpedo left, so that's really not the thing to worry about. And if I'm ha even if I'm having a hard time penetrating her at this angle, uh, I'm taking out crew from all the secondary guns. Very close to surrendering. This is something I noticed uh, happening very often in um, in my recent American campaign, when um, a lot of the AI ships I was fighting had a lot of secondary guns, and because there's a limit to how much armor you can put on a secondary gun, especially in naval arms race, which I was using for that campaign, the enemy ships just tended to lose a lot of crew. And uh, surrender a lot. Oh, um, damn it! I was gonna look at my uh, my remaining uh, ship health. Let's see. Doesn't really 
Where does it tell me uh, remaining uh, structural integrity? It doesn't really. It tells me the damage uh, received. And remaining crew. And remaining ammo. But it doesn't really tell me how many uh, many hit points I had left in uh, terms of percentage. So I will just have to check the recording and pause it just as it ended. Yeah, good job by my Italian battleships. I'm I'm not sure, but I think that is a new hull for the Italians that I was built on. So that's going to be uh, interesting to use in the campaign. Yeah, very happy with the... I, In retrospect, I think I would have made my 13-inch guns 13.5s, or at least 13 point something, to give them a little bit more punch. sure exactly what I would uh, sacrifice to do that though. Possibly some of the 7 inch guns. They were not really that useful. Yeah. 235 damage from the 7 inch guns. 154. 136. 268. So really pales in comparison to the damage that the 13-inch guns were putting out. Although, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe they killed a lot of crew. So maybe they were not completely useless? Yeah, that doesn't really tell me uh, which crew were taken out by which guns, so... Yeah, I think I would have just skipped the 7-inch guns and gone for 13.5s or something. But that's it for this week's Shipyard Champions. Be sure to check out Uloyuri's video below to see how my Austrian battleship um, works. I built them to the same uh, weight, roughly, of these Chinese battleships, so he's going to be facing three of them. They were built actually not that dissimilar to these Italian ships. Decently thick armor and resistance uh, stacking almost. Although, yeah, from 1929, I think. Yeah, I think that's the year when you get that Austrian battleship hull. So, a little bit more technology on them. Except the radar, which I would have normally used, but which was not... Oh, oh didn't mean to uh, play again. Oh. Yeah, let's just uh, get a picture of this ship. Before I go, before we end the, uh, end the video, let's see if it would have been possible to do 13.5s by just removing the 7-inch uh, the guns. Yeah, that's very possible. Four weight offset could have been mitigated somehow, but that still leaves me with a lot of weight to spare. So I could have put that into yet more armor. Like that. And that would have made for a very, very tough ship. Like, yeah, no no secondaries, but you don't really need a lot of secondaries in a battleship-on-battleship battleship fight. So... Yeah. 
Thank you for watching. Goodbye and take care.